Begin with a light pink colored gel polish and cure. Next, use the Wildflowers liquid brush loaded with isopropyl alcohol and the Wildflowers white pop-up gel to drag a marble-like pattern onto the nail. It's important to saturate the white pop-up gel with isopropyl alcohol and you wanna use the highest percentage possible. So if you can get your hands on 99%, that's what you wanna use. I'm just going to blot this over top of the design and you can see it disperse the gel. Once I'm happy with it, I'll cure that into place for 30 seconds in an LED. Next, apply the Wildflowers metallic top coat to the nail. While the top coat is still wet, I'm going to use the white blooming gel to pull some lines through the top coat. Now this is going to really give the nail a dimensional look and this is how I would go about doing the Himalayan salt nails or what they call the rose quartz nails. But I'm gonna take this a step further and turn this into more of a granite style nail with a little bit of geode in there, just for fun. Now I'm taking a black gel polish and doing the same thing into the wet metallic top coat. I'm just pulling through some lines. The longer that this sits in place, the softer the gel polish gets. You can almost see it bleed and move around. Now I'm going to use my magenta brush and the Wildflowers Crackle Chrome and I'm going to apply this in what looks to be like cracks in this rock that I'm creating. I wanna take my time, so make sure when you do this that you take your time so that the flakes don't go flying into places that you don't want them. And I'm looking strategically at this as I do it. I wanna make sure that it looks balanced. Once I'm happy with everything, I'll cure for 30 seconds in an LED. Now I'm going to apply another layer of the Wildflowers metallic top coat. And again, I'm going to work in this top coat while it's wet. So I'll begin with the black gel polish and I'm just coming along here and almost outlining those places where I added the crackle chrome. The crackle chrome is so beautiful and it gives this nail so much depth. It is chameleon and it's also holographic um, and it just looks stunning rubbed into the tacky surface of the nail, but this is also a really fun way to use it. So I wanna move along here all around the edges and create a sense of depth. Going along those edges with that black really makes it look like that crackle chrome is deep down inside of the nail. And then I'm gonna follow up with some of the Wildflowers White Blooming Gel and I'm just gonna go along the edge here to add even more depth and dimension. I'm gonna give this a second, and then when I'm happy with it, I'll cure to lock it into place. Next thing I wanna do is buff really quickly just to make sure I don't have any weird lumps or bumps. Sometimes that happens when you use the flakes. And then I'm gonna do one final top coat with the metallic top coat. And you can see when this hits the light, just how dynamic it looks. It has a bunch of beautiful colors. Here's another one that I did um, in a purple color just to show you the difference. So the Crackle Chrome comes in six different colors. And I did this one with a lilac color background and a different shade of the Crackle Chrome. I love to watch the colors dance around inside of these nails. It gives it so much depth and dimension. I really do hope that you try these nails. They're so much fun. If you do, tag us at Wildflowers Nails. All of these products can be purchased at wildflowersnails.com. I will be traveling across the United States teaching eight amazing nail art courses. I do hope that you'll sign up. They're hands-on classes and they're so much fun. They're part of our Master Artist series. For more videos, great product, and to sign up for classes, visit wildflowersnails.com.